Welcome to Tentative Title with Tim. This is a podcast about creativity, about process, about filmmaking, and about screenwriting. Welcome everybody back to the podcast. Uh, once again, I hope everybody out there is doing well, uh, wherever you are in the world, obviously. Uh, so, what I wanted to talk about today actually it is something, once again, I know I've said this over and over and over and over again, but I keep thinking about the idea of reserving judgment on stuff that is not complete yet. And um, what I mean by that is that last Friday, uh, the Masters of the Universe revelation came out, and there was an immediate uproar uh, from fans of He-Man, uh, or the, you know, the old old one and I haven't kept up with it apparently there was a, another one in 2002 and you know there have been a couple iterations of the the He-Man story as well as like She-Ra and just kind of all these like you know little spin-offs and stuff like that so I have no idea in terms of you know what it is being faithful to the original idea and what isn't uh, for me, I grew up with He-Man. I remember watching a couple episodes. I remember being really into the character, uh, really loving, you know, the idea of, of Adam standing in front of Castle Grayskull and doing the I have the power. Like, that sequence always was amazing to watch, and I just, I loved it. Yeah, but I, when I think back about you know, how much I actually watched the show. It's like, I don't think I actually, I was into the character, but I wasn't into the world. I wasn't fully invested in it. Uh, I just, I, I loved the, the idea that, you know, like this, the, this character of, of Adam could turn into He-Man. And I thought that was so cool. And, you know, he had his, his, uh, uh, his, you know, battle cat with him that, you know, was usually very cowardly and then all of a sudden had courage and, you know, so I always thought the, the ideas of it were really interesting. Uh, so I had heard some grumblings that this new show was going to subvert expectations. And so I wanted to make sure that, uh, when it came out on Friday, that, I watched it just so that, you know, I knew that I was going to come across uh, videos and commentary on just everything about it. So I wanted to really just, I, I just wanted to know, <laughs> like, I, I just, I, 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 I've, I've had plenty of times where uh, before I've watched something, I've heard the commentary, I've heard the criticism uh, and, and praise sometimes uh, about about a certain show or a certain movie and and uh sometimes that gets me really excited to want to watch it and other times i hear so much negative uh criticism about it that i don't watch it at all or i just i i don't i forget to watch it because i'm like it it i was so soured by the idea of watching it that i didn't take any steps to to try to find it to watch it for myself to see what my actual opinion of it was but yeah there was this big uproar in the fandom on friday and through the weekend and uh i was kind of confused by it on the one hand because it's the first five episodes out of a 10 episode uh season so as much as I agreed with a lot of the criticism, uh, a lot of the frustration, a lot of the anger over the choices that were made in the show, by the time it was done, I was like, well, that's the story's not over yet. Like, we still have five more episodes in which this arc of a story is going to resolve itself. And so, as much as people were frustrated and angry at, at what was happening... I 
you know, I, I just, I, well, for one, you know, like I said, like I didn't really have a, a dog in the fight. So I was like, well, I'm not, it's not ruining my childhood to see this. It, if anything, it's just, I, I can kind of give it credit for take, taking some bold steps in terms of like what we expect as an audience when we're watching this. But I also like felt the the gut punch of like, oh man, wow, they really went there? That, wow, I don't know how they're going to like come back from this or like, you know, I, I under, I, I understood the, the anger and the outrage. Uh, but this show has not been the start of, you know, fandom outrage and I saw this uh, a lot when it came to the Marvel shows and as much as like some some of them I really liked and others I well I mean they didn't really captivate my imagination in the way that I thought they would and but that that was you know like that, that was after watching the entire series but since they were releasing it week to week Every week, I would hear frustration about like what is happening in the show and and what is like why are they doing this and they're ruining the character and you know all, all this stuff of, of like this outrage and I kept thinking, guys, the show's not done yet. Like we're only on the second episode and you're all like and people are outraged over what's happening in the show. Now, to to be fair, like you know, once again, some of the the frustrations that people were having were pretty valid, and I could uh, I could agree with it because of the fact that I also felt the same way about the choices that were being made. Now, not in terms of like what they were doing with the character necessarily, but just in the way in which they were, the the tone, the style, like the choices that they were making, that in terms of how they were telling the story were the big big kind of like frustration uh, frustrating points for me and I, I i would come away from episodes thinking that they could have done this a better way the, the, there was a you know they could have done something else to convey the same kind of information and they could have made it more exciting and because of the fact that they only had a limited amount of episodes like they they only had you know it's like yeah sure in a movie you you only have two hours to tell a story but if you have an arc of like six episodes it's like you in a way either they were trying to pad out the story because there wasn't enough there or they just like they just didn't know how to how to make it episodic to to kind of like to, to build up to something really, really great. And I, yeah, you know, I, it, it wasn't with all the Marvel shows, but just it with every single one, I, I could, I could feel that, like, where are we going here? And then when we finally got to the end, I was like, yeah, like, uh, you, we could have, it, it could have been better, <laughs> you know, but in the middle of watching it, like I, I, I never understood the outrage. I, I never understood like how, how any, not, I mean, like I said, I can understand it, but it's just to outright hate something, uh, before you've seen the entire story has, has always been, it, it's, it's always baffled me. And I, and I, I try as much as possible to give the benefit of the doubt because to make anything takes a lot of work. It's very hard. It's a it, film is very collaborative. It takes years upon years upon years to uh, accomplish a, a single piece of work. Sometimes, it, it's just it takes a lot. And there's a lot of moving parts. There are a lot of um, the, there are a lot of intentions that don't quite get fulfilled. Like you, you could have a script that's brilliant. But sometimes you don't have a location or sometimes like an actor drops out or sometimes like, you know, you, you run out of money or so like there's all these different the, the different obstacles that will pop up uh, every single time you go out to try to make something. And I mean, like just 
anything, anything you watch, there was some obstacle. There was something that went wrong. There was something that wasn't supposed to happen that did happen or, you know, vice versa. Like the just you're never, ever really watching the fully intended um, film for the most part. Well, like, and uh, yeah, sure. The, there are probably one or two films out there where the director had full control over what they wanted and they they went take after take after take until they got it and that was exactly what they wanted but i guarantee you it probably wasn't like i i don't i don't know of any director who steps away from a, a film and says yeah i nailed it that 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 was it that that was my best work you know, they maybe in retrospect, they could look at their career and say, yeah, you know, like out of all the films that I did, uh, this one was the most well received or, you know, this is the one I'm the most proud of because it got as close as I could get to uh, the vision in my head. But for the most part, what you're watching, no matter what it is, there there is some compromise. There is something that probably went wrong. There's something that was very, very much unintended. Uh, and happy accidents does sometimes make a, a film or a show like even better than what was intended. So, I mean, it goes both ways. But as an audience member, I, I tried to give the benefit of the doubt. I tried to uh, let the filmmaker take me on a journey. And I try not to cast my judgment on, uh, on you know, what it is until the end. And I, it's not to say that, like, when a film starts that I, I won't be bored or I won't be frustrated or a character won't, won't you know, catch my attention or that there are any number of problems that, that I'll find in a film when I'm watching it or in a show. But once it fades out and the credits are going, that's when I can step away and say, OK, overall, with all the the great things and the terrible things in this film or in this show, like overall was, did, do I, did I like this? Well, was this worth my time? And, you know, sometimes it's a, you know, it's a, it's a no, you know, I, I I have to admit there have been some times when I've put on a movie that, um, that was done at a very, uh, at a, at an independent level. And I just could not get through it. I, I just, you know, I, I had to turn it off because so much of it uh, just it, it just like the, the story, the characters and the and, and like the cinematography just uh, it, it felt like a waste of time watching it. And so like I was like, I don't want to do this because I, I know how hard it is to make a film or to make a show. But sometimes I'm like, I just I can't justify watching this because it 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 could be at a better place. It could be it, like with more time put into it, it could be a lot better. But the version that I'm watching is just not it. And so I'm like, I I have to I have to save my time. I have to, you know, <laughs> I, I just have to do it. Um, but I, I don't like to do it. I, I, I like to be able to watch something and and even though the the vision of the director may be somewhat off or bizarre from from what you you know from from what it seems to be like i i've watched some really bizarre films and by the time i got to the end i was like i'm glad i sat through this i'm glad i kind of got like i i was a bit uncomfortable um watching this story unfold because by the time i got to the end it was so worth it it, it was so, so such a a great arc when when it came to the conclusion of uh of, you know of this film so yeah i i i guess this is like a call to action or something like i i, I just want i i want to encourage people to give things the benefit of the doubt and especially when it comes to a series you know just to like just to give it a chance to kind of allow the arc of the story to have like not every episode is going to be great but you know in terms of like if it's a limited series or if it's like just a season of something like just give it a chance like sometimes it's trying to find its voice sometimes um you know they're they they have an overall plan 
in mind that like is not you're you're not gonna see you're 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 not gonna see the benefits of what they're setting up until maybe the next season or or the next season after that. And you know, to to be fair, sometimes the showrunner ha- doesn't know because they don't know that they're gonna have a season two or or three or four or five or whatever. So sometimes they're like, "All right, we had a great season one. Oh, they greenlit us for you know two more seasons. Okay, now we can plan the next two seasons. Now now we can take the everything that we set up in uh, season one." And make sure that we start paying it off through season two and season three, or maybe like, you know, um, conclude a, a a character arc, you know, over here, you know, so it allows them to plan. Um, which is why I'm I'm so much of a fan of the shows that when they go in to pitch it to a network, they go in and they say this show is a five season show. This is our arc. This is what happens roughly in every season. Uh, this is, you know, the, this is the entire story. So that w- when they go into a production, you like, a- as an audience member, you know that, okay, there's going to be five seasons. So what I'm seeing in season one, like, th- it's going to go someplace else. And then it's going to go further from there. And it's going to go further from there. And I know that, the, that there's going to be a payoff because there is an end in sight there there's an end that um the showrunners have planned out and so everything that is happening is working towards that end and it's going to be very fulfilling because you, like you know that they're they're heading in that direction and that they're not going to go off on tangents cuz they're trying to fill out you know the, the they're trying they're not trying to pad out you know some episodes because they have no good because they they were given more seasons than they had story for so um yeah that's really all i had to um you know like i i've I've just been thinking about this for well i i mean since since i guess since the marvel shows came out you know i just i just been keeping up with like what people are saying about certain things and and really trying to get um, a sense of how uh, how people are responding to what is coming out and and you know because I, I believe it's important especially as creators to to you know listen to what fans are responding to and if they're not responding to something it's like well then you know the, they're the people are who are shelling out their hard-earned money for what you're making so if they don't like something it's like there there's a reason why they're telling you that they don't like it. It's because I really don't like it. And so you know, like you may have to change course. You may have to have to say, "Yeah. Okay, I tried something as a creative person. I tried something that I thought was interesting for me, uh that I thought would be interesting for for other people who like w- the this, you know, w- usually it's with a show, but I mean, it could be like with a franchise, with a series, you know, a series of films, whatever. It's like just being able to like keep an ear to what people are responding to, I, I think is a really good thing. And, and to, you know, to allow them to kind of speak into, you know, what what they like and what they don't like and, and uh, allow that to be a part of like the process as well. Because ultimately, I mean... Yeah, I mean, you could make films for yourself. You can make films for um, a certain crowd, and that's fine. That that's your that's your your niche. But whatever crowd that is, like you know, in a way, you kind of have to keep them happy because they are the ones who are, who are gonna come back and support you and and continue to to want to pay for what it is you're making, and you know, to kind of push them off to the side, like this doesn't seem to be a big uh, a. a a great idea so um i mean that's that's kind of like what it sounds like i'm not in that position yet but i i i want to make sure that if i am ever in that position that you know if i hear about something i'm making that i can take it to heart that i can kind of bring it in and say okay well well what is it that the fans are responding to that they like or they don't like and and how how, how can I turn that into something creative in a positive way? And, and how, how can I, you know, give, give them ease, um, so that they will come back and, and want to continue to invest in the story. 
Um, or it could be the the complete opposite where it's like, I, okay, I know fans at this moment don't like what's happening, but if they just hold on, if they, you know, if they if, if they hold on till the end, they will get the like a bigger prize. They they will be fulfilled in a way that that I've you know planned for, and so yeah, they may be complaining at this moment, and that sucks, and I hate it, but you know trying to encourage them to just hold on until the end because it will pay off and it the, it will go to a place that, that they will love and you know I, yeah so I, I can only hope that I that I, I make something that you know that I guess people will criticize and that people will love you know like the that people will just pay attention to and 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 want to support what I do going forward so uh Anyway, guys, like I said, um, yeah, that's that's all I got for today. That's what I was thinking about this week. And, um, uh, yeah, until the next one. And also, if you want to connect with me, I have a email for the podcast. It's tentative.title.with.tim.podcast at gmail.com. Also, I have a Twitter account for the podcast where I post uh, episodes, and that is at title underscore Tim, and you can find also on the Facebook page, I have a uh, page for the podcast, so you can connect with me there. Uh, I'm looking forward to hearing from all of you, and uh, until then, I'll catch you on the next one.